Oh my god. <laughs> mate, that's just stripped that, your home, mate. <laughs> this is the one we've been waiting for, mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Corey Show. <laughs> 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 On the nose. There we go, fix number eight. Shows us how to fish. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll go back to eating Pringles. <laughs> hey guys, um, catch me this week back down at Linear Fisheries. Bit of a change of events for me today. Um, I was supposed to be at Sandhurst uh, in the Big and Carp Cup final, uh, championships even. Um, administration error and it was double booked so uh you know nothing towards the organizers but you know 20 of us there thinking oh what are we gonna do just by chance so having to speak to corey and rob and rob just happens to be on the point with a swim that was coming available at 12 o'clock so i've got my stuff i've uh i've rushed down here guy was just setting up um so I managed to unload got everything crossed probably I don't know, um, half 12, one o'clock. I think it's about three o'clock now. Um, and yeah, so we are on B2 on the point. It's looking absolutely lovely for it. Rob. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, how you been getting on? Not bad, mate. I mean, I got here yesterday, first, um, first one at the gate, as always. I like to be first. Um, got down here then, and so it was tough this weekend because Oxley's is closed, St John's, Hardwick and half of B1. So my only option really was B2. And um, so I come straight to the point. I thought I'd try my chances. Never been able to get on it before. And I seen the guy on the left hand side was up. So I went out a chat with him. He had a triple take whilst I was there talking to him and he was leaving at 12 o'clock. So I thought it'd be rude not to jump in the swim after him. He was there for six nights, had about 80 to 90 fish. In so, this swim? In that swim, yes. Yeah. So he had loads of fish, so I thought it'd be rude not to jump in. Sure. And I jumped in there yesterday. He was fishing on the spot that I knew about anyway, so I put I clipped up my rods ready before he even left. So when I got into the swim, it was ready just to cast straight out. And um, yeah, I had one within an hour yesterday. I was feeling fairly confident. Put loads more spots out on top of the bait, uh, baited area again. T put the rods fresh out before bed and woke up this morning to all three hook baits on my rods gone crayfish oh, no, absolutely crazy. destroyed me so woke up this morning a bit defeated change of plan put some hardened hookers on with some plastic baits and but OG fish ones or, OG or, fish hardened hookers yeah. and um, just some yellow and pink plastics on top and it's done it for me so far. I've had a 30, 30 pound, four ounce. I've got a 30 pound, four ounce, so that should, you've got pictures of that. Got the pictures of that, now. yeah, they can put that on the screen now. <laughs> Get that in that net, mate. Get in there! Come on. No! Ah! Hey, that's a nice fish. Look at that! Wow. Oh, bro. That's a yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. Hey, my phone. Nice. So I've had a 30 pound, four ounce, and I had a one that was about 15 pounds so i just let that one common go. or mirror uh mirror do you know what i tell you what for b2 me a lot of the mirrors look the all they all look pretty much the same but this one was small but good looking it was quite dark it was a bit like an oxy's carp really had nice scales down it but because it was only small i just let it go but i've had three lost two and i mean we still got 48 hours to go. I mean, you're here now. T will be here within the next two hours. He's going to double up. Oh, is he me. tonight? Is he? Yeah, T's coming down. Mr. 30. Mr. 30 himself. Hopefully, I mean, don't want to say it out loud, but he's on a bit of a blanking streak at the moment. <laughs> so, no pressure, T, when you get here, mate. But yeah, uh, yeah but we've also got a, a fiver's bet with uh, Mr. Longcast, <laughs> who just bigged himself right Corey up. Corey being Corey. Yeah, but, but yeah. I'm going to turn up Saturday. I'm going to have a fish in within an hour. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's 30. Well, money's where it talks. Hour, so. Yeah, so money where it is. <laughs> fiver's down on that. If Corey gets one within an hour, I owe my fiver. If not, mate, I'll be coming for my fiver off you as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, we've got uh, quite a while to go, 48 hours, like I say, and hopefully, not just me, but Garrett, T and Corey, we can all get amongst the fish. 
get a couple of 30s and I'd say a couple of 40s but that's for me the 40s yeah. once I've had my 40 they can have their 40s then yeah. but yeah now it's going to be a good session and it'd be nice to have a social as well yeah and uh, thank, thank you very much for the uh, the invite down so we'll uh, we'll keep you on a journey and uh, hopefully we get to bring something special interrupted my spotting session but <laughs> screaming mate wasn't it oh dear yeah so i got them 26 and a half wraps out uh, just beyond the gravel bar uh, this one's a solid bag and i believe it's got a magic bean on it and it nearly just pulled me in the water <laughs> it just flatlined my it took me about six foot forward towards the end of the peg whoa but playing like a big fish mate don't want to like you know jinx it but Definitely playing like one. Yeah. All right, not only has Garrod gone and caught a nice fish, probably a nice mid 20, but he managed to grab a catch one of his spods that he snapped off earlier as well. So, could call it two in one special. I mean, I'd rather the fish, but you save yourself £16 at the end of the day. But, just as we was about to look at that fish, his middle rod went off, but and luckily he lost it. So he's just wrapping them back up now, getting the rods back out. And then, we'll show you that nice mirror in the net. So, first fish for me. Uh, been here, had the rods in about three hours, three and a bit hours. This one fallen to the orange. Um, magic bean, new magic bean with the micro pellet. We haven't weighed it yet. I reckon it's 24, 25. But we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Parker Bay it's absolutely killing it everywhere at the moment. Beautiful it's mirror. It's a nice one, mate. Isn't it? It's, it's nice. a stunning little fish. So we'll uh, we'll get it on the scales in a little while. But uh, yeah, good good little start this one. Me too, number one for me again. Thank you, Parker Bates. Thank you, Rob. And uh, thank you for the invite. Right, mate. And uh, yeah, get this weighed up and hopefully some more to come. Many, many more. Yeah. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> 20, 23 and a half. Yeah, I thought it was about 24. Yeah. Nice day. Nice little start. Happy days. Right. Yeah, So, uh, nice little start. I think the rods have been out about three hours. I've just been spotting over the top and uh, the, the, the right hand rod with the, uh, with the solid bag screamed off. So, uh, this solid bag set up, small leader going on. Got them really set up with a magic bean just going into the bottom. And uh, this is basically what it looks like. So this one was the one that I was using. The cray, there's obviously crayfish out there because um, it's been um, all the tops been chopped off. But I'm using a claw hook um, with like a slip D. So you see that just goes in four and a half inch um, little lead for for that onto the hook. Um, that's from the end of the hook to to the point. Um, so running part. So yeah. Magic Beans had the last three sessions I've been out. Um, myself and Corey, first time without using them. We had 21 fish between us. I think I, I think I had 14 or something. Um, and then over at the competition that me and Corey won um, at B1, uh, I had four uh, and they was all on the Magic Beans. So, I mean, I think the last three occasions I've been non-2021 20, carp and they've all come from the Magic Beans and the, and the solid bags with the uh, mini mix. Also using flat spot, but this in here is the uh, squid 
uh, limited edition the squid the um, um, scopex sorry and uh, all I've done I've just pulled it into one little bottle so again it just goes in through the side stab little holes in so that it goes through nice and I'm 26 and a half wraps out so the, the, the bar that says about 26 wrap but there's a weed bed before it so I've gone further and uh, that's from spodding as well because it goes quite shallow I think it's about four or five foot and that's probably from nine ten so it's quite a ledge going up uh, and I'm just off the back of it so yeah so far so good to say as we was bringing the one in uh, my middle rod then went which went off and then I had a massive drop, uh, drop back uh, I pulled into it but um, I think it took me into the weed it was either a crayfish so I had to have a little swim about with my bait because um, the other two are actually on heli uh, helicopter I've got one with hardened hooker because of the craze then the other one I've just got a 12 mil pop up with a size 4 claw uh, with a little bit of foam just to keep it nice and nice and buoyant but we'll keep you up to date hopefully I'll get you one with uh, Rod uh, Rod Rob um, bring one in and uh, yeah, just wait for Corey and T. I think T's coming tonight, and then we got Corey. So, again, nice start. It's nice to get one on the bank. So, I should have been at a competition today at Sandhurst. No fault of uh, the organisers. Um, but you know, it's nice to just get back and out. And it's actually nice to just come and have a bit of a social rather than, you know, thinking you know, for the next 48 hours I'm not going to sleep and spotting all night, all day. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated, but it's a good start. Well, here we go. Fish number two on for Garrett. Oh. There's a two little bleeps, wouldn't it, mate? They just <laughs> screamed off. <laughs> this one is on a little 12 mil um, OG fish pop up, but it's a, it's a match the hatch brown one with a tiny little bit of red foam on top or a size 4 claw um, just to give it that buoyancy to keep it up and again this one is right out just on the other side of the gravel bar and I'm pretty much spot on with me baiting but they're loving this OG fish How's it going mate? It's going alright actually You've been playing it for what now about 5, five minutes? Yeah. Just over 5 minutes? There's a big weed bed out there so it's just getting it through, so it's, it's difficult to see. I mean, you look at the, this is a 3.75 rod. And look at that rod tip. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I said, I'm actually set up to fish sander, so I'm on 20 pound foot, sort of point for our line, straight through with a, a rig and roll uh, tubing leader. So, you know, I was, it's difficult to get it out of sort of 26, 27 wraps, but where I am, definitely that, the baiting is, uh, it's weird, they're man. all over that OG fish freezer. <laughs> <laughs> A lovely one, that does. Maybe a little bit bigger than the last one. It could be, could be a 26. Could be a 26, maybe 25, 26. Again, they're, uh, they're loving this OG fish. Uh, I've been here three hours, and I all bed rods in three hours, and uh, I'm already second one up. Um, I think Rob's going to move his spot. He said he was seeing him over. The guy who had been fishing here had been here for 48 hours. I think he'd had one tench and a, and a small one. And I've been here three hours. And the only difference probably is, uh, is the bait using. That one actually came from a slightly different tactic. So helicopter rig with about 10 inch boom, supple boom, uh, with a claw hook, critically balanced, um, size four with a little 12 mil match the hatch um, pop-up, one of the OG fish ones, with a tiny little bit of uh, red foam on top, just to give it that little bit of buoyancy, because it's not quite heavy enough to lift the size four up, but with a little bit of foam it is. So, uh, yeah, it's going all right. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this one out, weigh it up, we'll see what it is, get some more pictures, 
and uh, it looks like it's going to be a eventful weekend. So second one coming in, uh, first three hours, last one was 23... 23 and a half. 23 and a half, so, so this one comes up, I think it's slightly bigger. Oh <laughs> mate, slightly? 31 dead on. 31. Wow. I do. That caught me off guard, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll, have, we'll get some pictures of this one. So we weighed it first. And we'll put that down, get it over here, and we'll take some pictures. This one's 31 on the nose. And, uh, yeah, second one, first three hours. B2, Parker Bates, doing it again. Get one on the other side. We go early afternoon and uh, we have the infamous tea that is uh, just up there wrapping up Mr. Ferty himself. I'm sure he's going to want to get in front of the camera in a little while, so uh, I'll, I'll be handing it over. But we have Rob sitting around relaxing now after doing his duties of landing fish. Obviously, it's going to at least I've got tea here now to be him to be woken up all night. <laughs> so, Mr. T, let's wave. <laughs> so I think what time is it? It's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. So yeah, so no, it's a lovely evening. I think we're, we're definitely. I think we got a storm coming in tomorrow, so uh, that should liven things up. And uh, for now, we'll keep you up to date and uh, have you a bit more action to come. So it's uh, evening time, been a good day to be fair. Um, I think we've got the weather coming in tonight. Well, a bit of a storm tomorrow, which I'd imagine will uh, certainly liven things up here. I say T's uh, now arrived. He's, uh, he's um, bivvied up with, um, with Rob and we've got Corey coming uh, tomorrow. So it's gone a little bit quiet. I think the fish have moved out, um, but hopefully there'll be a bit more action going in for the night. So it's, um, it's nice to actually come and have a bit of a social uh, rather than sort of being up for the next 48 hours, not sleeping and you know it's a bit disappointing that the, the Sandhurst uh, Big and Cup Cup Championships was, was cancelled but you know these things happen. Um, so I'm back here uh, at Linear next weekend uh, for the Parker Bates uh, social competition. I'm actually pulled out of the competition because I'm going to be fishing alongside Trevor. Uh, and giving him a little bit of a hand. Uh, he's had a um, bit of a rough time of it recently uh, and his shoulder's gone. So, you know, I've said I'll, I'll, I'll go in, give him a little hand and uh, it gives another space up for somebody else to come along. I think there's 40 odd swims, 40 odd people fishing in that, so that's gonna be good. Um, but I'll keep you, uh, I'll keep you updated, keep posted. Um, if anything happens during the night, I'll try and get it on film. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get in one of these 40s. You know, with uh, Rob had a 30 earlier, I had a 31. Uh, he's had a double, uh, I had a 23. So, you know, four fish out today. Um, so I only really got the rods in probably about half past one, quarter two. Um, you know, and had two sort of within the first three hours. So uh, hopefully it's going to come about. Otherwise it'll be probably morning time, going in daytime tomorrow when that storm kicks in. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a wet one, but you know, it's still fun and uh, looking forward to it. Morning time, about six o'clock. Um, been quiet for me, to be fair. Um, I would like to say I had a good sleep, but I, I probably had four or five real big liners. But um, yeah, I think that was about it. I think the boys had one. Uh, either um, Rob or, or um, T. Um, but the weather at the moment has certainly changed. Uh, 
So, uh, yeah, I'd imagine it's, it's certainly going to turn the fish on. The, the wind's changed, blowing room into us now. Um, so total total change around with the wind. It's not the worst I've seen um, or been in, but uh, yeah, it's um, certainly took a change from yesterday. So we'll see what today brings. Um, I'm going to uh, probably get out in a minute, just uh, see if this dies down a bit and um, change me rods because no doubt the craze have probably been uh, having a little field day on uh, on my baited spots and, 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 and my baits, even though I'm using hard and hooking on two of them, I'd imagine my uh, yellow beans uh, or my yellow beans and my magic beans uh, I probably had a good seeing too. Just made myself a coffee and um, yeah, have a bit of breakfast and uh, I'm going to get back out there but it's certainly starting to uh, come down a bit harder, wind's picking up, I think it, it gets really quite um, blustery, um, I think it gets really quite blustery uh, later on, so we'll, we'll see what happens, uh, fingers crossed and I'll keep you updated. So what's been happening Rob? Well, about two, half two this morning, I had a screamer on my left hand rod, picked into it and played me pretty well but it was about 15 16 pounds so me and T just let that go this morning but me and T were just led down in bed then I was saying oh this together not quite together <laughs> but close enough close enough but um we uh we were just talking about how it was bite this time this time yesterday was bite time and just as I said it my left hand rod screamed off again which currently is in a lot of weed so I put my rod back down Fingers crossed, might come out, might not, I don't know, but I'm going to give it a half hour or so. If it doesn't, then I'll try pulling on it again, but yeah. All right, well, we'll keep everyone updated on that. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, yeah. hopefully get a few more. Like I say, this time I had three fish within about an hour, hour and a half, so hopefully I get these two rods back out now and this other fish comes out. If not, yeah, it's not looking good, that's for sure. <laughs> Pretty bleak out there. Um, absolutely uh, soaked as you can see had, um, had to have a little change up today so uh, yesterday when we got here the wind was sort of slightly behind us and um, I was obviously set for Sandhurst so I put my one spool which was uh, set up with 20 pound 0.40 tow rope which I say not not uh, made for casting but obviously for something like Sandhurst really weedy probably got the most of about um, I don't know, 15, 18 wraps you need to worry about and then obviously you need to pull the fish through the weed. Obviously linear is a whole different ball, uh, ball game. Um, like a numpty, I uh, left my spare spools with my braid at home. So uh, basically I've just had to go out, I went up to the, the linear shop and I've just bought some uh, Nash 12 uh, pound um, line uh, took all three spools of this off uh, and re-spooled in the rain. Um, I just couldn't get the distance. The, the wind's coming right into us um, and uh, I need to be 26 and a half, 27 wraps out to hit the roadway it goes across. I found a lovely patch and that's where I had the two from yesterday. But I'm just not reaching it. I'm probably hitting 24, 24 if I'm lucky um, with this line. So I've gone out, I've, I've changed it, I've re-spooled, uh, I've now put all three back out on the money. Um, the only change I think I've made, I've got one side on the heli, uh, heli um, rig uh, with about a 12 inch boom with a, a 12 mil a pop up with a little topper, uh, which is the one I had the 31 pound on yesterday. Uh, the other one I've changed to a uh, lead clip um, with about a 10 inch boom. Uh, on a D rig, quite a big D, but with a hardened hooker and um, and, and a 12 mil pop up. Uh, and on my on my right hand rod, I've got um, a solid bag. When I got up this morning, when I brought the rods in, uh, the craze had nigh on demolished my, my hardened hookers. How they've done that, I don't know. There just must be some lobsters out there. Um, they've done my uh, magic bean. But I think if I, every couple of hours I keep changing, keep checking, uh, I've just put out about another five or six bombs out. I'm on the money now, back out to sort of just under 27 wraps. 
I'm, I'm dead straight line, uh, train tracks going out. Um, so just in, a, there's a little V just in, in front of me into the swim and, and beyond. And that's basically my target area. Now, Corey's gonna be turning up about two o'clock, quarter past 11 now. And um, yeah, the fish are certainly jumping again. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he's gonna have to sit up in the wet, but uh, you know, we pretty much found where he's gonna go. Um, so yeah, hopefully some action. The fish are starting to back out in front of us, as I've been talking now. Uh, the fish are really jumping again, um, pretty much in my area, maybe slightly to the right where Corey will be fishing, uh, but I'm, I'm going to keep where I am and you know, hopefully he can turn up and, and, and bag a few as well. So the boys had one last night, as you heard from Rob, um, and uh, only a small one, I did hear them, but um, I didn't get up to be fair, I was, I was shattered, I'd had a, a long week this week, but anyway, um, I'll show you some of the rigs, I'll show you some of the bait, hopefully when it dries up a little bit later on. Ground bait, which I'm using. Um, again, for me, the OG fish, um, 18 mil, are just um, every one going, they're working, along with the magic beans. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get a few more. The, the weather certainly become unsettled enough. Low pressure's come in. Rain, uh, well, I mean, we've got a big old storm coming. Uh, I think we're just at the start of it now, so um, no doubt. I'm literally wet through to my bone. I don't want to get changed yet because I'm only going to get wet again. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Obviously, if anything happens with Rob and T, get the camera shot over there. And um, if anything happens with me, then I'm sure one of those will grab the camera as well. And uh, hopefully, we've got a bit more to show you. So, a little, uh, little change in the weather, should we say. So we just had the heavens open for about the last, <coughs> last four or five hours. I was just having a little snooze and my rod just screamed off. Uh, fish just buried itself out in the weed out there. Uh, had it on for about a minute and uh, had a hook pull, so not your favourite. Boys are back out, getting their, um, getting their uh, spots back again. Uh, doing a bit of spotting, I'm just going about to refresh my little area as well so uh so where the sun's come back out don't know how long it's gonna last for but uh yeah at least it's gonna be a little bit more pleasant my, my clothes i've got changed three times absolutely soaked through to the skin um we'll keep you updated as uh, as we move along but uh at least the winds died down a little bit even if just for now whereas we can try and refresh things and uh yeah bait back up the areas and hopefully something else will come along oh and I've got muggy now, so I think about two o'clock, and just in behind me, see Mr. Mr. Lusk, Lundkask, and Corey just turned up after his day's work. Uh, so that means all four of us are now here. Here's the man himself. Oi, oi. Oi. So the fish are definitely held up in the bowl at the moment. I think there's been a bit of a hatch. The exoskeletons down the, in the in the water as the wind was pushing in. Uh, so the fish have been really showing again. So I just uh, I just had a screamer, uh, locked me up in the in the weed, um, and uh, had a hook pull. Rob's just put a zig out. Literally within about five minutes, and just had a hook pull. So hopefully they're back in the area again. And hopefully Corey is going to uh, show us he's, he's put a bet on he's going to give everyone a fiver <laughs> if he hasn't caught one in the first half hour. So it looks like the beers are going to be on him today, which is great. <laughs> oh, that's only a small one, mate, but they all count. Yeah. Mr. Longcast at the netting skills. Thank you. Yeah, Oh, that didn't go to plan, did it? A pretty oh, little thing. Any words, Mr. Thi, the man himself? <laughs> no pressure getting this in there. It makes you in a bit of a joy streak. Yeah, not long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Feel nice, or? Nah, it's only small, mate. Small? Yeah. Well, what have you got then, T? A nice little common. It's nice, mate. It's I went over 20. Another 20. Yeah, yeah mid, mid team. It's a nice one, though, mate. Yeah, mate, happy days. Well done. <laughs> Here we go, Mr. Corey, into Not one. Not even an hour. Not even been in an hour. Looks like I owe you £5, mate. Looks like you do. 
40 minutes to be precise. Didn't even need the hour. <laughs> I can always buy you a waffle tonight, mate. I love or, a waffle. Or a pancake. Everyone loves a waffle. Oh, yeah. Corey is into another one. Said it was 30 with the seeding. The odd 30 with the seeding. I've got one change, that one change. Oh. Yeah, mate, you go for it. Oh, I don't know what you boys have been doing wrong. Why are you in there? Why are you Double take, double take. Well, whilst Corey shows us how to fish, <laughs> then we'll go back to eating Pringles too. <laughs> so we're having another little Corey masterclass here. Little common, common, mid double. Beat the absolute beep out of me. <laughs> there you go. But, not bad considering We got one slightly bigger in the net over here. This one's a bit more like it. Probably anything between 23 and 4, but we'll, uh, we will weigh it up in a second, get some pictures, and uh, Corey let the last one go. Um, wind had come in, I had to shoot up, up the road, so uh, he just let that one go, but we'll get some pictures of this one. And number third one out of the three rods in a game for Corey. So that's all three rods. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we double take. I think it could be a busy night. I'm running out of bait. <laughs> I've been nicking yours, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been having them on zigs or bottom bait or pop up. Harden hookers, mate. 80 mil harden hookers. Mate, Straight out the packet. Yeah, what's that, your third? Well done. A little plastic. A little plastic, we're on the top of the boat. Yeah. Alright, well, second fish for tea. <laughs> Hopefully. Was it your right hand rod again? Or? Yeah, right hand yeah. rod. Yeah, mate. So, right hand rod twice. First one being a. Uh, 20 pound common which you get back but hopefully this one's a bit bigger what are you having them on? this one's on plastic corn just look crazy right? yeah crayfish have been bad at the moment so more fishing hard hookers and plastic corns just to try and keep them hook baits on but try and get this one in should we mate and then uh, hopefully show them a 30 in the net from Mr <laughs> 30 himself that'll be nice <laughs> so Mr 30 is into yet another one. Thought we had a double take there, but no, it is a double take. Oh, is it a double take? I've got one in the net for you. Yeah. Have you got one? Okay. It's only a small one. It's only a small one in the net. Well, oh, I don't know. It's a little stumpy one. Yeah. But there's one. A, it's a good twenty. With a fat belly on it. it looks yeah. like it's got a broken tail actually. Look. Yeah. Oh, nice tail. That's it. Mr. Thirty. He's in again. Give us a smile. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Robin T over in this swim. Obviously, me and Corey just there. We're on the point. The B2 linear. Is it there already? And yeah, we got one full of weed. Is this the third one, T? <laughs> and number three for Mr. T. Oh, oh here we go. Well done, Rob. Good day. Well done. Cheers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's a pretty little one. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Me and Corey just standing there talking, heard a little noise, and his uh, right hand rod has just ripped off again. <laughs> so we'll have hit the clip and then he fucking went in with it. swimming then, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> So, essentially number four. Fish you out there, right in the middle of the bowl. It's 
before we took some high ground. Mr. So, Robert, what are you Hello. saying? Hi. What are you saying? Not a lot, mate. Not a lot for me, anyway. Oh, where's that going? Yeah, I know. That was. I mean, I know. <laughs> Watch them rods, mate. You might be coming our way. I think I've saved it. Whee. This one looks like it could be number five. The Corey. So having a little bit of carnage here today. Uh, Corey's having it right off. Not only have we still got two in the net from <laughs> Mr. Longcast, but the man's into another one. It's Absolutely one, carnage. <laughs> We're saying, well, well, I can't catch a fish at the moment, so I'm just trying to think about my belly instead. So, <laughs> but Corey's. Um, Showing me how it's done by the looks of it. It's got how many you had? Three. You've had three, I've had four. TZ? Three. Uh, three. Three. And, and Corey's, Corey's, I think, this will be his six. six. We don't want to talk yeah, about what's, what, um, no what's the biggest weight? Um, uh, Can you remember? 31 pound, mate. I don't know what it belongs Who was that boy? Um, T, was it you, mate? He's having it off, isn't he? Here he oh, is. Mr. T, say <laughs> hello. Right. Smash it, mate. 50, 50. One in what, half hour? Oh! Ooh. Bad. Gun lucky! <laughs> what have we got for T there? So, what's that? 28. 22. 22, yeah. 28.2? Yeah, nice. Cool. Happy days. <laughs> well done, boys. It's Mr. T. Very nice. Yeah, is that a few? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Yeah, 24.5. Yeah, I thought it was about 24. Beautiful common here by Corey. Look at that. That's 24.5. It will take. Um, Welcome to the Corey Show. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him in, boy. What is it? Fish number seven there? Yeah. Nice. Fishing what? Three in a spot as well, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty tight. What are you on? Plastics or the hardened hookers? Hardened hookers. Straight up. Just, just hardened hookers. Nice, man. My arm is in bits. <laughs> Fair play, you turned up at what? One o'clock, two o'clock was it? Or was it a bit later? About half two, I think it was. Half two, end. and you're on the stocks. Rain, No, I got the rods out for ten to three. <laughs> and by twenty to four, I'd had the first one. I mean, me and, and T were stopped. both tucked up in the bivvy and Corey was out here spotting, <laughs> casting out constantly, working hard. Effort equals reward. And it's showing it for sure. So put this down, hopefully get this fish in the net now. Nice one. Nice. Don't put me Corey, what's the food like? A lot better than the pizza they're about to get, <laughs> So we're into uh, early evening. Uh, yeah, it's gone here. It's gone well here, to be honest. It's been uh, it's been a great sort of 36 hours. We've got 48 left, and uh, without it being a bit boring, guess who's in again? <laughs> <laughs> so I think this will be uh, fish number seven. I think he's lost about four or five. Have you lost three? I thought he lost four. Oh, is that number eight? Is it? Oh. Anyway, lost count, it's too many, but great fishing. And uh, here comes Robert yet again, coming over to check it out. Oh. Nice, nice pizza, mate. 
pepperoni pizza, barbecue wings, spicy goujons, cookies, and stuffed crust. So yeah, but well, we had we had chicken, bacon, lettuce in a Greek uh, pita bread, pita bread, whatever it is. Sounds nice. It was alright. It was alright. Nice. Anyway, I, I'm going to pass out to Rob. Do you need Dan to land in that one? It's alright. It's another pasty. Pasty smasher. He's a pasty smasher. <laughs> <laughs> we he's not Mr. Corey Longcast anymore. He's Corey Pasty Smasher. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll let this one uh, unfold. Uh, looks like Ben must be about. Look, all his mates have arrived. All well, the midgets. <laughs> I tell you, but no, it's a good double. Mm. And do the shoulders on it. And the net, so. Go out for some pro netting. <laughs> you get that as well? Yeah. <laughs> Corey, aka oh, oh. Pasty Smasher, <laughs> releasing another pasty. Eight pasties on the back. <laughs> Ten's gonna be you know, a thirty. You're gonna start calling me Ginsters. No, oh, no. <laughs> Should we just. Oh my god. <laughs> mate, that's just stripped that, your home merch. <laughs> this is the one we've been waiting for. Mate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was, that was something else. I've not had a pull at that in a very long time. Mate, that stripped your reel. <laughs> Sweating, I don't know what to do. <laughs> that. Even more pressure now, mate, to get it in. Don't want to see it. I can't believe that. <laughs> I blew my mind there, I did. <clears throat> Oops, you mate, land fish number four for you. And a bit bigger. Right, well, it's been about five minutes, got him weeded up. I think it's still in a bit of weed, is it, T? Yeah, mate. But. It is moving through it, though. You said, mate, then you, if this ain't a big fish, you'll quit fishing. <laughs> so, oh. don't want to put it out there in front of everyone, but. Yeah, mate, I've got high hopes for this one. <laughs> now you're on the spotlight, mate, so. This ain't yeah, a big it's fish. It's gonna make mate. me look like a fool though, but yeah. <laughs> this will be the last time everyone sees tea if this is not a thing. Tea bag, come to save a day. <laughs> tea said, mate, if this ain't Where a big fish, you'll quit fishing. So. It's weird, isn't it? So I'm with uh, T and Rob, and uh, T's hit into saying quite nice. Um, oh, sit through there. So, so both here with T and Rob. Uh, T's just had a run, and it's weeded him out out there. It's, uh, I think it could be a decent one. So all done at the moment. We'll just put it back on to the stand and uh, see if it can free itself. The man himself. <laughs> I want to get that one in so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lose it. <laughs> well, we'll keep you up speed as, uh, as things happen. Oh, well done. <laughs> Bit of an uneventful night. But uh, it's all going off over in the Rob household. I have to help with a double take. Really uneventful night. I think, Rob, you had one at... I had one about four o'clock this morning and lost one about two. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had nothing other than the crayfish. Uh, but Rob has just got one in the net. <laughs> and uh, I had to look in for his, his uh, double take, so I just took that for him. Bring that one in. Let's have a look what this one looks like. Working our way for the small ones, though. Yeah. Hopefully, this one will make Feels better. a bit better, that one, doesn't it? Well, I'll take one like yours, mate. <laughs> I'd, but, I mean, I'll take two thirties. I'll give them one of 40. What's this? Come on, then. Show us you're not a pasty. And it's a pasty. <laughs> a pasty coming by the looks of it. You can pass with the nip. Mm -hmm. Go. Uh, and Rob's catching Corey up with the pasties. It looked nice to be another uh, eventful day. We had uh, 
nothing last night, I'd say. Um, Rob, had, Rob had one, I think, during the night. Myself and Corey had nothing. But after the last two, looks like the fish are now on to Mr. Bolger. Yeah. What, what's this one, mate? Is this the bait that I just give you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Garrett kindly lent me some bait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've run out. And as I was putting that out, that left hand rod screamed off with this fish just holding its ground. Oh, please, please, no more pasties. We have had our fair share of small ones now this trip. I know you and Corey have been killing it. I know, mate. I mean, it started off well, a nice 23 pounder, then a 30 pound four ounce. And then since that 30 pounder, it's just gone downhill. <laughs> but I'm still, still good that I'm catching, but you want them big ones. It's quite a... That's a decent one. That's a definitely a bigger one. That's right? a definitely not a quarry pasty. Oh, that could be a, that could be a thirty. That's a, not a bad one. That could be a little thirty. Nice. Yeah. Well done, mate. Happy man. Yeah, boy. <laughs> hey, this fish <laughs> stripped me of about 20, 30 yards of line at first, and then it got me stri straight in a weed. And then it came out and then it went back in and then I just let it down now for about 20 minutes and it's managed to come back out. There's so a big bed of weed out there isn't there? It's so bad at the moment, I've lost about four or five fish now altogether yeah, in it. I've, I've lost four. T lost a good one last night and I'm going to say I hope this is a good one because I still haven't managed to get that one still in the net in the net. Yeah, which that one's not looking too bad, yeah. definitely a high 20. But, um, please be a nice one. It's gotta be a nice sleep, please. Carp gods. That's a big old head of weed. Won't be a pasty. I don't know, it's about the weeds in front of it, look. Oh, I think. Oh, I've got it. Oh, man. Got it. Yeah, boy. This foul looked it, didn't it? No. That's what I thought, mate. No, that's not me. That's, right, yeah. that's a 30, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Hey, level up. That's nice. Right, well, here we go. Fish number seven for me. I've managed to work my way through the pasties alongside Corey. And, uh, yeah, this one being 24 pounds. And just as I was about to take the hook out of this fish's mouth, my other rod went screaming off, which is looking, I'm seeing low 30 T's, reckon 34, so we'll get this one back and show you the next one. But yeah, OG fish, ooh, OG fish, hey. <laughs> Hardened hookers, with this one was a bit of pink corn on top. But yeah, happy days, we'll let this one go. Here we go, fish number eight. Well, caught me, T, Darrod, all of us off guard. We all thought it was a 30, but <laughs> not quite. It's 27 pounds, but still happy with it. There was a bit of a dry patch in between. I mean, I had a few, well, three fish in the first 24 hours, and I struggled for a bite then the next night, going into the third night. But this morning has definitely paid off with, I think I've had four fish now this morning. So yeah, happy days. We'll get this one back and hopefully get another one before we go home. Oh, right. My knee was about to go then. Oh. Well, oh, what fish number is this for you now, Paul? Nine. Nine. And it's just stripped. Literally spawned over the top of it. Well, I literally landed on top of that rod. I reeled it in, and it went. <laughs> nice. And it just probably stripped you in quite a bit of line, didn't it? Yeah. Probably about 50 yards. No more pasties for you, mate. Uh, don't jinx it, Robert. <laughs> oh, God, let's get this in then. Corey's in another one. Oh, 
screamed and run like a girl. Hello. He's getting attacked by wasps over there. Any size? Yeah, oh, what the man? No way! That's, that's a better one. That's a lot. Uh, sort of a that's, better one. Mate, that's a... What? Look at the whip on that. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that's it. The pasty smasher has now got rid of his He's name. He's got rid of the pasty. And you can go back to Mr. Long. Look at the happy days, mate. You see that, mate? Check that over that way, mate. Check it over that way. Oh, he's... We'll see what the pasty is. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. It's a pretty one. It's not. <laughs> it's got a box and sort of Oh, mate, you've got like... Oh. I reckon it could be. I mean, it ain't far off it. Uh, what, a 30? Yeah. Yeah. Happy days, nice. Happy days. Oh. Good time about something better. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> well, left rods. Whilst me and T were just having a little chat in the bivvy. I had like a single bleep, and by the time I got out the door, it started screaming off. So, playing fish number nine. And I say, hopefully, we continue this streak now of uh, no more pasties. Because I've had enough of them and I think Corey's had enough. I think you've had a couple of them, you two. Yeah. Mr. Kerr, quiet by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll get this one in now. Once we've got it in the net, we can show you what fish it is. Hopefully, a big 30. Well, not only has Corey got that nice one in the net there, well, it's a nice one. Right under them, Garrett, or what? It's a yeah. big one, possibly a 30. Just let back one, just let one back, get my words out, just let one back, and now he's playing another one, which is fish number 11, so, yeah, it's giving him a bit of a joyride at the moment, but, hopefully we'll get this one in the net. I didn't think it was that big. 29 exactly. Well, here we go, fish number 9 for me, fish number 10 for Corey. Is that your biggest of a session so yeah, far, mate? mate? 29 pound. Hopefully, I get a 30 before I go. But yeah, it's been a good session so far, and I think we've got about two, three hours left. So hopefully, between the four of us, we can get ooh, another one. But we'll <laughs> get these back now, and hopefully, get some more. Right, come on. Well done, boys. Fish. Fish number 12 almost in the net. Oh no. Round two again in the net. Gosh. Oh, we did it! I said they were tight, didn't I? One to go. That middle one's going next, I'm telling you. Yeah, fucking on you, boy. Right, I'm going to get my feet. Well, there's a slow pack down as the gun. Gary's just packing away now up there. Corey's still set up. Tea's pretty much packed down. I've just got my last bits to do. And of course, Corey's middle rod's gone off again. I think it's fish number 15, did you say, mate? Yeah. <laughs> fish number 15 in less than 24 hours, as it stands. Can't fault that, can you? Shame they're all small. I know mate, there's been a lot of small ones, hasn't uh, there? 29. Couple of nice 20s though. Hopefully, no more pasties and some more 30s. What colour? Uh, red that's, one. No, that's a green one. <laughs> yeah, fair. So I come into the session here at, uh, at B2. Uh, it's Rob, T, and obviously Corey, Mr. Longcast. Been a great 48 hours, and uh, yeah, thank you, boys. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Take care, mate. Roll on next weekend. <laughs> Let's see you all at uh, B1. Drive safe, buddy. And for Mr. Mr. Corey. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> well, here we are. We're at Linear B2 for a night. I'm boiling. It's hot and it, Steve. Too hot, mate. There's loads of wasps, but yeah, rods are out. 26 and a half wraps. I'll show you in a sec. Put the spawns out. Come on the cart. Steve's got two rods out. 
one twenty six over here and one in the margin. I've got three rods out on the money, twenty six and a half wraps. Yeah, as I say, when we make up a new mix, we'll show you. And but for now, it's actually raining a bit, isn't it? Wasps are a nightmare up here. I booked one. Literally, honest to God, put a spam out right of Steve's mix. I'll show you that. Literally just said to Steve, I'm going to put one spam out. Bosh, put it out, reeled it in. Filled another one up. About to put that one out. And uh, yeah, right hand rod had one beep. And I was like, oh, was that me? All of a sudden, <laughs> dropped the spod rod and just struck it. We were literally just saying about getting a shot of this rainbow. I don't know if you can see it. Could be a 40. You never know, do you? I've even got my spotting glove on thing. Straight in the onion bag. Yeah. Fuck. What's it saying? Oh, it was bang on. Look, I said 17. That's bang on 17. 17 on the dot. Get in there. Bosh. First B2 fish. 17 on the nose and a proper scaly banger, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Get in there. Let's have a look at the other side. What a belter. Hopefully we have some more, eh? Get in there. So here we are. Letting her go. Get in there. Come on. Let's have another one. I've had a fish. Can we have another one? Bosh. Here we are, we've got a load of sweet corn, bit of worm, OG fish pellet and boily, sauces, flat spots, all going into the spawn. Let's get a pack. Steve's in. Six. Let's go. Twenty-six, six. Come on. TV. Well, here we are, all packed up now. It's too hot, isn't it, Steve? Way too hot, mate. Worth the trip, though. We packed up early, and we're gone.